Hi folks, I'm John Mullen, the Energy Evangelist, and this is the Evangelist Talks for August 22, and my colleague is... Hi, I'm Laura Short from Green at Heart. Hi, so what are we talking about today? We're talking about waste. What are you doing with it? <laughs> It's just a waste of time, really, isn't it? No, 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 no. <laughs> we had to get that joke in. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, there's so many areas in your business that people are just going, oh, yeah, throw it in the bin. Mm. And you know, take, for example, even in your own household, how many things can you recycle in your household? I recently, oh, this is about six months ago, started to recycle single-use plastics out of my bin. And the kids are driving me up the wall. Crisp packets, mm. sweet wrappers, all sorts of things just thrown in the bin. Yeah. And yet I've been able to reduce the amount of waste that goes into my general bin by over half. Yeah, you'd be surprised actually how much additional recycling you can accumulate just by separating things out. Yeah. So just by taking a little bit extra time when you do go to the bin um, to actually separate off the bits that can be recycled and can't, just before you actually throw it away, you reduce your general waste by a considerable amount. Yes, it all adds up mm -hmm. because... But whenever you apply the same principles into your business... Yeah. Uh, we were talking about uh, recently about somebody who was putting a seal around an oven mm. and he just measured off, cut it and then fitted it around the oven and then he cut it again. Actually, why didn't, if it was the same measurement every single time, mm -hmm. why didn't he measure it off in the first place? Yeah. So, uh, but and when he started to do that, they realized he was creating a lot less waste. It's just a simple action, but you can apply that all over the place. Yeah, and there's so many additional schemes now, things like TerraCycle, you know, you can send away your um, blister packs or things like crisp packets can be collected. There are so many alternative recycling schemes coming about nowadays that really there's, there's kind of no excuse to be throwing things like that in your bin. Um, th there's always an option. I mean, even if it's that you produce uh, a waste product that you don't feel anybody would have any use for, advertise it tell people that you've got it and i can guarantee there'll be somebody out there that can make use of it and do something innovative with it as well yes it's it's just literally taking the time to ask the question what could this be used for yeah. who could use this yeah. i've been really surprised at some of the things coming out of the network yeah. of how to make use of things there's one of the financial advisors who I deal with and he uh, off his own bat has decided to collect the blister packs and now he's got you know bin bags mm. big bin bags which he sends back for recycling and that's just because he deals with his clients and with the different business networks so it all adds up and we have to change. That's what it comes yeah. down to. It's no longer acceptable to just throw away. Yeah, we just don't have the space left in this country for landfill. Yes. It's full. Um, and we do need to find alternative routes for that. So start looking at your process. Start right from the very beginning of that process. Whether you're a service business, whether you're product driven, it doesn't matter. There is a process within your business. And look at each area in turn and see where you can make reductions that actually take the waste away before it needs to be either recycled or disposed of. Make sure that you're reducing what you use first before it goes down the line to needing to be thrown away. And on top of that, ask your employees for their ideas. They will come up with ideas. They will take ownership of what's going around in the in their workspace. Mm -hmm. You'll be surprised. 
this is the day and age where we start to change our attitude towards waste. Mm -hmm. Here's here's one thing I want you to remember, folks. Every single bit of plastic that you have ever touched, every crisp packet, every plastic bag that you have picked up at the supermarket exists somewhere today mm -hmm. on planet Earth. Yeah. So you could probably fill a house with all of the plastic from your lifetime. Yeah. Why is it now thrown into somebody else's backyard? So please stop think of what's going on and see what you can do. Together, we can make a change. That's all for today. Thanks very much. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.